So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a daily planner in Notion. So this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial where I'm going to take you through every single step that you need to do to create a daily planner. Firstly, I'm just going to give you a little tour of the planner. So as you can see, I'm currently on the Monday tab. So this is going to give me an overview of all the tasks that I want to complete on Monday. Similarly, I have a different tab for each day of the week. Um, so we have our task list here and we have a checkbox here. So once I've completed the task, I can tick the checkbox and it will remove the task from the list. If there are any tasks left over at the end of the day that I didn't get around to, um, I can click on the day here and change it to a different day. So let's just say this task I didn't get around to and I want to move it to Tuesday. I can change it to Tuesday and as you can see, it's disappeared. But if I go into Tuesday's tasks, here it is, it's now appeared in Tuesday. So that's just a really easy way to move tasks between days. And on this by day tab, as you can see, it just brings up an overview of the entire week and it brings up all of the different tasks that you're doing on each day. And here we have the plan tasks tab. Um, so this tab essentially works as a place where you can make note of all the different tasks that you need to do. Um, some of them may have a specific day that they need to be done on, or some of them might have a deadline as in it needs to be done before this date. So you can record that date in this due column. And this is sorted by the closest date first. So it's just a really great place where you can just record all of the different upcoming tasks that you need to do. Um, so when it comes to the start of the week, when you want to plan either your day or your week, you can just come to the plan tasks tab um, and under this day column, you can just select which tasks you want to do on which day. So just as an example, let's say this task here, I want to do on Monday. If I just select the day as Monday, it will disappear from this task column. And if I head over to Monday, as you can see, it's now appeared in my Monday tasks. So let's just say that I complete all my tasks on Monday so I'll tick all of them off and as you can see they've all disappeared and let's just say I come back to my planner on the following Monday and I need to plan my day so I'll just go over to my plan tasks tab and I'll just pick out the tasks that I want to do on that day so I said some of them like this hair appointment would be on a specific day so let's just say that one was booked in for Monday and um, but some other things maybe film a new YouTube video I could do that any day really but I'm going to select to do that one on Monday maybe this one and let's choose that one as well. So if I just head over now to my Monday tab, as you can see, all of the tasks that I just selected have now appeared in Monday and throughout the day as I go along, I can just tick them off as I complete them. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you can make this for yourself. So the first thing we're going to do is type in forward slash database and select this database inline block. We'll start by giving it a name. I'm just going to call this one daily planner and I'm just going to click on these three little dots and hide the database title. I'm then just going to rename this and this is going to be our plan tasks tab and I'm just going to change the icon as well. I'm just going to bring up this little pen icon. Next, I'm just going to change the name of this column. So it automatically will come up as name, but I want this to be my task column. So I'm just going to rename that task and then I'm just going to delete this default tags column because it's not something we need. So we're now going to add another property. So I'm just going to click on this plus icon here and type in date and select this date property. And this is gonna be our due date, so I'm just gonna rename it due. So that's gonna be where we write the deadline or the due date for the task. Next, we're gonna add another property. So I'll click on that plus icon, and this one is gonna be a select. So type in select and click on this select property. So this one is gonna be our day, so I'll rename it as day. And then I just want to add a few options. So I'm just gonna add every day of the week. So I'll start with Monday, Tuesday, and so on. Okay, so there we go. So as you can see, I've added every single day of the week to the list. And then the final property that we're gonna add is gonna be a checkbox. And I'm just gonna call this one complete because it's what we're gonna use to tick the task once we've completed it. So I'm just gonna make this column a little bit smaller so you can just see the checkbox and I'll just make a couple of these a little bit smaller as well. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add a couple of tasks to the list so that we have something to work with. Okay, so I've just added those tasks here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a sort to this. So I want the tasks to be sorted based on their due date. So I want the tasks that are upcoming to be shown to me first. So I'm gonna click on sort and we're gonna sort by this due date. I just want to make sure it says due by ascending. So as you can see, we've now got the most uh, recent date showing up at the top. And then for these tasks, I'm just gonna select a day. I'm just gonna do this at random. So the next thing I'm going to do is just add a little tick icon here. So if you just remember on the original one, we have this little tick icon that shows up. So it's just something more for aesthetics more than anything else. Um, but I'm just going to show you how to add that. Um, so you just want to hover up here and on this new button, just click on this little arrow next to it. And we're going to click on new template. 
That's just going to pop up this window here. So you just want to hover up here and click on add icon. And I'm going to click again on icons and I'm going to select this check mark here. I'm going to select the black color. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to add a title or anything because that will be the name of the task. So that's something I want to add when I'm actually inputting my task. So I'm just going to click back and go back to our main page. So again, I'm going to click on this little arrow once again, and this untitled with a checkbox is what we've just created. So I'm just going to click on these dots and I'm going to set that as our default. So now that will be the default setting when we add a new task to this list. And I'm just going to click on for all views. I'm just going to add that to the current tasks in our list. So I'm just going to click on this open button, which is going to open up this page. And here is our little checkbox template. So I'm just going to click on that. So as you can see, that's just populated the checkbox and it's not really done anything else, which is exactly what I wanted. So I'm just going to do that on all three. So I'm now just going to add another one just to show you how it will appear. So if I click on plus new and type in, let's just say I have a team call. As you can see, that checkbox is now automatically added, which is perfect. So next I want to add the filtered tabs. So those are the tabs that were filtered by the day of the week. So for example, Monday, I want that tab just to bring up the tasks that I want to do on Monday. So let's add those. So I'm going to right click on this plan tasks tab and click duplicate. I'm then going to rename this Mun for Monday. And I'm just going to change the icon as well. I think I'm just going to click this calendar icon here. So as I've duplicated this tab, it is exactly the same as the plan tasks at the moment. Um, so to filter by Monday, we're just going to click on this filter button here. We're going to filter by day and I'm going to select Monday. So as you can see, as soon as I've clicked that, it has filtered out all of the other tasks and it's now just showing me the tasks that I had down for Monday. So on this tab, I am just going to click on this due column. I'm going to right click on it and click hide in view. That's mainly just because the due date is no longer relevant as I've already decided that this task I'm going to do on Monday. So I don't really need to know the due date anymore. And I'm just going to put the checkbox here next to the task. So now we just want to do that for every day of the week. So I'm going to right click on Monday and click duplicate. So that's going to just copy the exact same view. And I'm going to rename this one to for Tuesday. And the only thing we need to change here is the filter. So I'm going to click again on filter and on this day Monday, and I'm going to remove Monday and instead change it to Tuesday. So as you can see, that's now changed it and it's just bringing up the task that I set for Tuesday. So I'm just going to do that exact same step now for every single day of the week up until Sunday. Okay, so I've now added all of the tabs. So I have one for every single day of the week and it's filtered by that specific day. So I do also just want to add a filter for the checkbox onto every single tab. So essentially, whenever you click this checkbox, I want the task to disappear. Because um, if not, you're just going to end up with a really long list of all the tasks that you've ever completed. So ideally, we want this task to disappear now that I've ticked the checkbox because it's complete. So to do that, we're going to click on filter and we're going to select this complete checkbox. And we want to select when it's unchecked. So this just means it will only show tasks where the checkbox is unchecked. So now that we have that filter, if, for example, I tick this checkbox, as you can see, it will now disappear. So I do need to add that to every single tab. So I'm just going to go through these tabs, click on the filter and add a filter for when the checkbox is unchecked. Um, so I've added that filter to every single tab now. Um, so the next thing I want to add was the by day tab. So if I just go back to the original one, we had this by day tab. So this will give you an overview of the week and all the different tasks that you want to complete. So let's add this to our daily planner. So I'm just going to again duplicate this plan tasks tab. So I'm going to right click and then select duplicate. And this one I'm going to name by day. And I'm just going to change the icon as well. I'm going to select this one. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is change the layout. So it's currently a table, but we want to change it to a board view. And then I'm just going to look where it says color columns and I'm just going to switch that on. And for some reason, whenever I do this, it always mixes up the days. So I'm just going to rearrange these into the right order. So you can just click on the column and drag it. So I'm going to put Monday first, Tuesday second and so on. OK, now that I've done that, I'm just going to scroll to the end and we have this no day column. So I'm just going to click on the dots and click hide because it's not something we need. OK, and then I'm just going to drag this column just to the second one. Just going to think it works better there. So I've just added a few more tasks to the list so we, that we can play around with it. Um, and then the final thing that I do need to add on here is another filter by day. So when I select the day that I want to do the task, I want it to disappear from this list. Um, so what I'm going to do is add one more filter and we're going to add a filter for the day. 
and up here where it says day is I'm going to click on is and I'm going to put is empty so by selecting that it's now only going to show tasks where I've not selected which day I want to do them so essentially these are just the upcoming tasks that I need to do so I'm now just going to add some days into here so as you can see every time I do that they disappear so I've just added some days to most of these tasks. So if I now click on my by day tab, you can now see that it is populated with all of the different tasks that I'm planning for that week. And if I click on my day tabs as well, it just shows the tasks that I have to do that day. Um, and say it's Thursday, once I've done the tasks, I can just tick them off and they will disappear. So it's working perfectly. And that is it. So that is the daily planner. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also check out my pre-made Notion templates on my Etsy store. The link will be in the description box below.